Could it be? Could it be? It is, my friends. We are back with Roleplaying Unlimited Open Table Wednesday evening. Welcome back. I am your host, Tragically HP, coming to you live from the 100th Meridian, where I'm up to my torch, up to my tits. Maybe I got no interest in the exact feeling. So glad to see we have a full table for our uh, technical night in a row here. And it looks like everybody, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, just about everybody's loaded in to the voice chat right now. Get us over to our game a page right here. Thank you so much for that uh, Poyoshi. Radio Free Covenant welcome and whip around. Thank you for the follow and for the Twitch sub. Much appreciated. Much love. Are you with us? Oh, I'm getting a text right now, ain't I? To the game! Well, howdy, friends. How's everybody doing tonight? What's happening? What's happening? Hey, how about you? I'm all right. Let's <laughs> play some D and D. Yeah, that's a that's a good just thing. the standard dread of existence. Yes, I'll second that. Cheers. Uh, existential crisis. Yeah, pretty yes. good. Getting off a bad cold here. I'm willing, ready to ready and willing to do anything that that. Uh, gets me out of bed <laughs> oh i hear you there man everybody's uh getting this thing i hope that you feel better very soon my brother i myself have been fighting it on and off for almost a month now it has not completely landed some days better than others but uh yeah i definitely feel you on that just trying to press forward yeah yeah well hopefully i'm on the tail end of it hopefully hopefully you feel better so yeah, definitely more for you, brother. Prayers for you always. And uh, Don and Gail, welcome. We have Katarina rejoining us tonight with everybody's favorite Kender. Don's going to be uh, her uh, her personal coach here, making sure everything goes good. Hopefully, the torch does not get left behind too often. Just a uh... blue. <laughs> it's a part of oh. life, it seems. <laughs> I forgot about the torch. <laughs> we have plenty of torches now, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're all uh, accessible by all players, I believe. But maybe not Gale's torch. Maybe only she is able to access that one. So because it's special. We'll... Yeah, I think I assigned it to her specifically. So I guess we'll see how this uh, goes forward. I'm a little bit more prepared too than uh, usual. Of course, I say that as I tab over to my Game Master page for Roll20, and I'm staring at a site all too familiar to you players, an entirely dark screen. That's not right. Must be all this heavy rock and roll music. Yeah. Not bad. Alright, I call BS. I'm going to close out this tab. And hopefully it works on the second time. The stuff on my character sheet keeps on moving around and stuff. Very strange. Hey, uh, whip around. Uh, first time playing at the table. Thank you so much for that sub, and thank you so much for being here. I understand uh, you're also coming on the tail end of a cold. Hope you feel better very soon, my friend. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, welcome aboard. Yep, yep. It's nice to play, not DM. So. <laughs> hey, there we go. I have access to my map again, which is a good thing. And I got your message there, Mike. Got a new Myconid attached for your character sheet. Hopefully works out better. Ba -da 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 -da. And Fringe, what's happening, my friend? How's everything going with you, man? Oh, Other than normal. The, uh, the standard dread. Anything uh, new and exciting happening? Mm -hmm. Ah, my grandmother is getting an apartment finally. 
and we'll be able to move out of her house where she can actually be looked after. Oh, so fantastic. that is very exciting. Yeah. Always. Good she's only, have... you know, 80 and Grandpa's been gone for a couple of years now, so she's been struggling. Oh, man. Definitely good to have some good news on the home front for sure. We've had a couple... Yo, Ben, what's happening, my friend? Hello. Get your volume turned up since you're coming in very, very soft there. Alright, so we've had a few cast changes here since last time around. Oh, what's all this then? Radio Free Covenant has gifted a Tier 1 Sub 2 Drist Gaming. Thank you so much for that, my friend. Uh, Drist will be able to enjoy our program commercial free thanks to Radio Free Covenant. Covenant, Covenant, Covenant. Are you with us? Ha ha! Well. If that's how it is, we do have, uh, again, we have a cast change here. We have Zelty. We have Matthew joining in as Widowmaker. Of course, you can feel free to delete your character name from the uh, character sheet, if you so wish. We have Patient rejoining as Crumb. We have the ghostly visage of Ira Savis right here that nobody can see but me. We have Katarina fully holding on to that torch with all her tender strength. We have Crumb's Echo chilling out up here next to the ghostly form of Ori's, who unfortunately is no longer with us. I was really enjoying playing with uh, Rex, but things happen and is what it is, I suppose. Now let's get Amphith onto the field of play. Make sure I got out. Sorry, is Irisavis here tonight or no? Uh, she is not. Looks like she is, yeah, lurking. she is lurking. She's lurking or watching in the Twitch stream, but not here in character. Okay. She was present on last night's game. Ah. Okay, so we have Amphith, and then we have Nisha stepping in. Step up! Um, as a heads up, I have a black screen and resetting did not. Womp womp. That's probably because I don't have your token on the board just yet. Um, oh, okay. Vision, bright light. Heart that hurts is a heart that works. You are good right there. Yeah, Poyo, she's chilling out in the Twitch stream. She says hello. Thank you for remembering her. And we're going to see how the group continues after destroying the trifecta of nasty worms here. And have I forgotten anybody else? I got Nisha, Widowmaker, and Amphith onto the field. Otherwise, uh, everybody should be good, right? Right. Radar's chilling out over here. Down the remnants of the ruined hallway can see these things coming forward Looks and like maybe my name isn't showing up um sorry i'm not familiar with everybody's voices just yet who am i missing here sorry there's wild bob like grobash oh there it is also trying to get over a cold my goodness uh feel better soon my friend yeah no that's not different there there we go should fix the issue there and let me just tend to something on the side here real quick um, discord chat la -di -da -di. oh by the way uh, remind me to resub with resub with prime at the end of the night because I think it expires during the session for me Oh, fantastic. Thank you so it's much. It's been a month already, really? Wow. Yeah, it sure has. These uh, last eight weeks or so since the open tables took off have really flown by. <laughs> I think my HP bar is broken. 
I think you and Amphith alike, because I am looking at a l 8 of 11 hit points here. Okay, and uh, let's see. Shortly about to rejoin us out of the ghostly haze is everybody's favorite Aarakocra, Irosavis! Ta-da! She should be along here eventually. Oh, nice. Ka -ka, ka -ka. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all of these. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just need to reset the HP. No, that's not doing it. Sean, what does your character sheet say as far as hit points? Is it showing 8 of 11? It's it not showing cool. anything. It, it looks that. cool on my end. All I'm showing is a blank bio and info tab, and that's it. That explains that. I have not assigned you your character sheet. Now you should be good to go. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Poyoshi. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, hi. Um, okay, so I see 30 of 32 on this character sheet. So let's just try to unlink, relink. No, you cannot be the angler worm. Points. You can be the walrus, Cuckoo Kaju. Ah! The walrus was Paul. Okay, Amphith's hit points seem to be correct. Uh, Nisha, 20 of 20 is not correct for you, you're saying? Uh, it's, um, it's not showing at all on my, my end. I just see blank. Like, uh, you're just still seeing a black screen, you mean? No, just the token itself. There's no... I normally see the bar, but I don't see the bar up there this time. I'm not sure what's going on. Gotcha. No that might just be a, uh, a glitch on your side, because I've got everything set correctly, and if you've already done a reset, it's likely as know. good as we can, uh... as good as we can expect. I'm gonna try another ever that. Yeah, no worries. And I believe we have an initiative already set. I'm just going to add one of these angler worms that has already perished. Oh, yeah, some smooth rock. Crap. API is dead again. And black screen over here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a motion. Yeah, I got, I got nothing now. Do you even black screen, bro? <laughs> Try reloading it. Try I reloading did. It. That's what made it go black screen again. All right. Well, you're not alone. I'm having some issues here of my own. Let me just double check. No, it's not player overload. We've got, I mean, Tuesday, I can see that because we got like 22 players in that game. This one should be just fine, though. But all my APIs are dead, my settings are dead. Should we all close it and reopen it? Um, sure. I mean, if, I don't know, maybe that'll help. I just have to read, yeah, my scripts are currently disabled due to an error restarting the API sandbox. La di da. Alright, please work. I was prepared for once, and now everything's running slow. Something, something, Internet Explorer. <laughs> oh no. Something, something, Google Chrome. I was going to say, if you're using Internet Explorer, that's your problem. That explains <laughs> literally everything. Yep, Firefox for the player loadout and Chrome for the GM loadout. Those are the two best ones that work with Roll20, I have found. Although Internet Explorer used to be the primo one, like 2015-16, when I first started joining. Yeah. Now, I've been Firefox since, like, the mid-2000s. I always switch every few years, depending on what I see. All right, hopefully this works. Ta-da! Hey, look at that. The torch even got an initiative. 
Still a dark oh. screen. Can they see anything? I can't see anything at like, all. I mean, do they have any of the map revealed? Or I, no, I have no visual of any tokens, no visual of the landscape, nothing. Just so you walk. see, you have like the chat box and all that. I have that, but the actual world, like I, I, I can click it's anywhere, possible. and it's just I see the pinging, but that's it. Oh, really? There it is. Yeah, because you might just be zoomed out or like zoomed in too close. Oh no, no, no! Our... I wasn't. I can you see I was now? Checking it. I can see now. I was checking it all zooms before. It's okay. Not... No. For some reason, it was because you didn't have night vision. I had you set with torch vision, and it wasn't allowing you to see. I cheated and gave you night vision, and for some reason, it made it fixed it. So that seems Thank to work. You. Sorry uh, about that. <laughs> hey, no worries. Not your fault. Okay, and then I need to get initiative for our two friends up here. Um, get back on this. Okay. going a two absolutely horrible oh can i just ask uh so who i have here is myself katarina zelti widowmaker ampeth nija grobash irisavis and rikari is there anyone i'm missing um rikari is not here who is oh. rikari's justin right and i think he oh well i just saw you do the initiative for him so Gotcha. Yeah, good, good pickup there. I thought okay. I had removed everybody, so I guess Grobash is suddenly on point by himself. <laughs> uh, Whoa. Okay, torches do not need initiatives. Otherwise, looks to be all right. Yes. Okay. Sorry for the lag. I'm just a little slow today. Three gifted subs to Roleplaying Unlimited. That is amazing, Sean. Thank you so much. Much love, brother. Okay, so looking at this initiative, Amphith is in the top slot. Katarina, number two. Zelti at number three. Irisavis at four. Grobosh up here, who I do not have line of sight through. Another thing I need to fix. Literally none of us know what's going on. There we go. If you're watching it on the stream, you can see everybody's field of vision, because that's how I, I have it set, so that I can see through everybody's eyes. Well, I mean our characters, so if I remember right, Varadar wandered into a hallway. Right, yeah, we kind of split up, and then I think uh, Rikari and Grobosh had called out some kind of, uh, something's up what ahead! Danger! Some danger, danger, Will Robinson. Nija is following that up at a 14 as well. We got a three, a play, three players at 14. My robo cyborgs from the cybernetic ghost of future past are going on a 10. Kram is on a nine, Widowmaker at a seven, and oh, my excess initiative that I rolled there, for example, okay. Well there, Mr. Daly. Take us away, Skitch. We are in an entirely new situation here for yourself and Nisha, having come over from seven weeks on Tuesday nights in a row here into this weird cultist layer that has obviously seen some signs of abandonment and damage for some time now. And most recently, this uh, crater opened up right underneath the bed, which is where one of these giant nasty worms came out of. And no sooner than concluding the battle against these angler worms, our scouts up on point have spotted some kind of clankers rounding the uh, the corner up ahead. And then suddenly, here you are! Uh, we were at level five, Zelty. 
correct, level five. Yeah, we got levels two and three for solving the initial puzzle in under 15 minutes, and then levels four and five for killing the void dragon. Oh, that was the dumbest thing I could do. You want to give us level five? No, I just emptied ash into my box, which obviously doesn't Oof. go there. It goes into the frickin' ashtray. <laughs> Multitasking is not always recommended. Sometimes one thing at a time is, is the way to go. <laughs> they do not taste good. I mean, thankfully, it's, uh, it's separated from the grind itself, but... Yeah, here in the open table <laughs> Wednesday chat. If my phone be the slightest bit agreeable. There we go. Okay, I took the dash up here and I'm looking in and that's my move. Alright, yeah, looks like a bunch of old mummified remains to your right there. And following that up is Katarina and her unreliable torch. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to make this thing a sentient item that just has a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> it just follows her. Yes. I go where I want to, thank you very much. Even when it, even when she doesn't want it to follow her, it just hangs above <laughs> her. She's trying to hide somewhere. <laughs> it's like, I'm right here. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. It's a cursed torch. The curse being, it gives you perpetual light, and you can never get rid of it. So where's everybody going? The north out of this passage here. If you take a right, you'll see two of your companions there, one of them surrounded by a swarm of insects, if I'm not mistaken. Spores. Spores. Uh, me being mistaken is probably the case more often than not, so spores they are. Peppered or teriyaki. I like the uh, emote chat going on there in the chat log. I know that uh, Whip Around was saying you might do some of your play in chat if you want it to look uh, stand out and not just like regular text. You can use that forward <laughs> slash. Reference. Say what? Futurama reference. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> or you can use... <laughs> Either of those will work. If you use the forward slash E, it gives it like a bold-faced orange color. If you use the exclamation C-E-M, your text will come out with the colored background based on whatever color you have chosen next to your icon. Katarina's got the greatest stealth check known to anything that's ever lived. And somehow is uh, pretty stealthy despite holding this torch. She's holding it at just such a way that she's standing in the shadow that it's providing. That's it for me. All right. Hey, Zelty, what's happening with you? Well, I'm going to heal because I'm hurting from last time. <laughs> Let's see, where did it go? Is it in this list? It's not in the list. List. Okay. I don't know what's on this. Nope. I got a whopping right? for health. Ooh. Oh no, then. Robot. Cobalt. The robot. I hate this. I love it. Ow. <laughs> okay. And I've got what? what? Was it 30 feet? I do have 30 feet. It's been a minute. So we have one. That's my movement. 
Um... Oh, I got one more place. There we go. Ah, I can click the right button. Okay, <laughs> now I'm done. Very cool. And just a little side thing here real quick. And then uh, Poyoshi's turn will be up. She's turn as Irisavis. Okay, well, I don't seem to be in action, so I'm gonna fly over here. Amazing. <laughs> okay. I wish I had one. They come in handy. And they look cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my blowgun on this guy. Hold on. Oh, which guy? Don't attack uh, him. He's never mind friend. that. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Don't hurt our friends. Yeah, but how come his name tag isn't showing for the players? Oh, Do you yeah, all see way. it? Uh, he's in the dark. Uh, Christy, can you see his name tag though? It's it's showing up now. Oh, okay. It's just not showing up for me. I probably just got to do a page reload on that side. Maybe during the, the break. There is nothing wrong with using a blowgun on a friend. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should watch this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Okay, well, I can't, I can't really do anything much other than move, so I'm done. Alrighty. Hey, uh, Grobach, what's happening with you? That blowgun is part of history. <laughs> yeah, but it got you killed by the rest of the party. Um, I Six think I asked this later. last time, but how big is a 20-foot cube? Uh, it's a 4x4. Four four. Thank you. All right, can I hold my uh, action then with uh, like a, what do you call it? Sorry, brain's not working right. Like a planned reaction type thing. Ready your action for trigger? Yeah, that kind of thing. And I was gonna, what's the trigger? I was going to cast fairy fire at the uh, first enemy that I see turning the corner there. Okay. We will put you... On the ready side, then. The difference between hold and ready, if I'm not mistaken, is ready allows you to only take an action, whereas hold will allow you to take your entire turn, but you don't get to use it in response to a trigger. You basically have to wait until a different initiative has passed. Hey, uh, Nisha, what's happening? He's just going to go with the group for now. How you did that but you left your health bar a square behind you is that what it looks like in the stream oh it sure does that's fantastic what's happening westy thank you for the lurk
Yeah, let's just. We are rest. toys. <laughs> so what's that? Just moving and chatting. Anything else there, Saz, or end of turn? Oh, sorry. That's it for now. Okay. <laughs> well, my time has finally come with these things. Uh. Clickety clankety clank as they round the corner. That ah, crap. Ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. There's the first one there, Grobash, if you're gonna throw a fairy fire up on it. I am indeed. Let's see if I have a spell token for that. I should also say it's part of my Swarm Keeper stuff, so um, I guess it's uh, actually like spores and stuff. Cool. I picked the one that matches your uh, spores there as best. Is that what you're kind of looking at, to try and catch him at the edge to see if there's any behind him, or are you just going to do something like this? No, the, the way you had it the first time was more what I had in mind, to try first and get time. anything behind it. Gotcha. I mean, everything kind of happens in the same six second span so I think we'll bridge the gap and say three of them are in there at the time it's cast rather than just one appreciate it uh, of course rule of cool my friend um, green light each creature dexterity save I am no resistance to that at all, so three deck saves. Eight, eight, six. Well, yeah, these things are not quite that nimble, and they are all outlined, which will give advantage against any of these three with attack rolls, assuming that you can see it. And the affected creature cannot benefit from being invisible, so I guess their avenues of becoming unseen are fewer and farther between. I'm going to throw up some green icons on each of those that were affected, so you know that they are the results of fairy fire, and proceed accordingly. Uh -huh. 30 feet of move. At which point, this thing appears just completely oblivious to the fact that it has been covered in this fairy fire. Yeah. It grabs a javelin from a uh, weapons pack on its back and tosses it right at Grobach. Which, unless your AC is an average 10, it is not going to hit. 13. 13. Proceeding with the other two. They have also already moved 10. 30. No, that would be 30 right there. Let's repeat that with this clanker. Yikes! A 23 AC for 7 pierce. Robosh from this nasty one up there. Twenty and thirty feet. This one will also attempt a javelin throw. You're gonna be right at the edge. Yep, right at the edge of its short range. 
You do get a bit of a cover bonus, though, because it wasn't able to move far enough to get this one out of the uh, interposing position. So, Grobosh's AC is two higher, which, unfortunately, a 22 will still hit that for eight. Yeah. Eesh. And these things just let off all kinds of steampunk choo-choo and steam hisses. And even when they're standing still, their feet are just constantly just clunk, 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 clunk. I have two more of them, at least. Veridar is able to see them pass by. For the time being, this is close. Nope. Amphith is perfectly around the corner. Alright. We're gonna try one more javelin attack. It's at long range, so I have disadvantage on this. And Amphith, due to the cover bonus, your AC is five higher. And I gotta check the character sheet. This doesn't seem right. How can your AC be Oh, that's right, that's right, we covered this before. Okay. So, this he's one... A, he's a fisherman, uh, just for, for people who haven't tuned in before, he's a fisherman, he doesn't wear armor because if he falls off his boat, he wants to be able to swim back. <laughs> Alright, we can't even see this one on the map, but it's right here, and it's basically trying a sidearm javelin toss disadvantage and your AC is a 17 against this and an 11 is just going to cause this javelin to land 10 feet shy of your position that will pass it over to Crum and his echo nice uh, so I need a ruling on your part uh, can I move my echo through walls I'm inclined to think no, but post the ability. Let's see exactly what it shows. I can move it 30 feet in any direction. <laughs> I suppose it's poorly written, but so. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking it still follows the normal rules of movement as far as uh, okay. yourself would be concerned. Sorry, can I bring the torch with me when I swap? Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to grab it, right? Yep. Nice. Free ever burning torches, y'all. Oh, look at us at seven viewers. Whoa. Biggest one of the week so far. Yeah. Woo. It's because we're cool here on the Wednesday games. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pull out my shotgun. This here is my boom stick. Ba boom! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, we can fry him up with steak. Did you say steak? Okay, and then extra uh, attack. Sure. Oh, oh my god! My goodness gracious, Ignatius! Nice. I tried. <laughs> Man, Amphith and Grobash are just, they're like ducking his like scatter shot. It's just flying over their heads and much too close for their preference. Duck! <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> Matthew, welcome, my friend, to Roleplaying Unlimited. Your first turn is now. Oh, man. Well, since I'm way out yonder, I'm going to go ahead and move. Uh, 
Oh, I can't get in Sand Square. Yep, we'll just go right there. If you're not going to take an action, you can substitute a move in lieu of that, so you could technically end the first six in somebody's square and then pick up another six after that. Alright, that works. There we go. Cool. Actually, we'll go. We'll go that square. Awesome. And that is it for me. All right. And again, I believe since you are new, and I don't post this in any of the chats, I tell everybody this their first session. I think I haven't missed anybody yet. You start with three potions of healing. Uh, the standard variety and for flavor text they're basically uh, like patches instead of potions yeah. uh, one little shortcut is that lowercase i above the chat log there that's our shared compendium you can search up any item any rule any monster any spell and in the case of spell or item you can drag drop it right onto your character sheet easy peasy just to make sure you have your character sheet open over the map and just drag whatever you need to over to that and it auto populates all of the information. I'm gonna oh. cry, I missed that. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to bring everybody's attention to uh, this little cheat sheet that I created at the start of the first oh. Tuesday which has basic stuff like the uh, the emote text, how to whisper to other players, how to whisper to myself, make sure that you're not accidentally using E instead of W because then your whisper becomes public domain, and it's bold-faced. Uh, the taskbar on the side of the virtual tabletop, if you want to roll dice that way, or the ruler, that's your primary one. And then everything after that, like uh, how to use the mouse and the character sheet, all the bigger paragraphs, that's all very handy information. But in any case, we are at the bottom of the initiative where... Oh, this was just the sample that I rolled. Or is it... Bum, 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 bum. Other worm! Hi there, Veridar. How you doing? That's not the right one. That one's already dead. That does me no good. How about... Now... Looks like you have found a friend over here on this side. And this particular angler worm is... How did, what the, the, how did he even know I'm here? I'm not touching the ground. It smells you. <laughs> Told you not to wear that Cologne. I wish I could do a Morgan Freeman impression because I would do my scene enters Morgan Freeman, <laughs> Freeman scene if anybody knows it. Oh man, yeah, that would be a uh, a solid impression to be able to nail. I've tried it, but it just doesn't sound right. So not even right. <laughs> Very few people can nail that one. Um, yes, 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 yes. All right, bite attack from this worm at Veridar. I don't remember Veridar having a 14 AC since 1984. So that's going to be a miss. We'll try with the coils attack here. The coils. Nyah, nyah, nyah. An 11. Well. My ritual I did before the game successfully docked your dice. Is that what happened? Because <laughs> I'm just like, I might need to do a page reload or something. No, my dice are consistently good enough. I can have a bad night once in a friggin' while. Top of the initiative, Amphith, that's back over to you. <laughs> okay. Targeting this guy here, the lead, uh, whatever the hell this is. It's a robot. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like. 
looks like. Steampunk, full plate armor knight. You know who else is a robot? The Robold. Robotics. <laughs> He's in league with them. Little did you know, you have entered the dungeon of Dr. Light! Oh no! Sniper Joe, Rush Kid, Dr. Light, Mega Man! Hell yeah. You don't know Proto Man, you definitely should. Well, the plus Second one. Second best album. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Thank you, Murtaugh, for introducing me to amazing music. Anybody who can introduce me to amazing music, I will forever remember you as attached to that music, as insignificant <laughs> as our passing may have been in life. Somebody that I met in my Star Wars guild introduced me to the tragically hip and i will always remember him but the uh, well if that's the key. go ahead I'm, I'm sorry uh the 18 is a hit against this lead clanker and we can see just the tiniest smidge of hit point reduction so these things appear to be pretty mm, beefy anything else there from you sean Uh, hmm. Smells like going to duck in here. Duck. Yeah. And come. And uh, once they come by, I will uh, start throwing stuff at them. Or if they, you know, come into my, uh, you know, if they come into my uh, field of vision, which something like that, then I'll throw something at him. Gotcha. You already took your actions, though, so you wouldn't have a, uh, a ready available. You're basically setting up for next round, you're talking. Yeah. Sweet. Well, let's see how Katarina, hiding in the shadow of her own ever-glowing torch, is going to approach this round. Most talented rogue ever can hide in light. Back in the late 90s, I had a player who jokingly would say, like, my rogue is so good they can hide in their own shadow, but Katarina might be able to pull it off. <laughs> They're covered in fairy f Can I see those things? Absolutely. They are glowing with green light, so any attacks that you take against any of these three with the green bubble on them, you get advantage. the shepherd shuffle <laughs> I envision it as a much slower and boring version of the curly shuffle yeah it's um very awkward it's very much the um awkward white guy dance <laughs> uh is the lead one your target here Gail Yes. With advantage, 23 to hit, sneak attack applies, and... Ow! That is a much more sizable chunk of hit points on the lead warbot here. Skyrim shuffle is when you get Fusro Dot off the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Just straight ragdolled. <laughs> Infinitely more dynamic than the Shepherd Shuffle. <laughs> Hiding not so good this time. Not so good, Sorry. but even an 11 is respectable if these things have poor vision. Hopefully they're not relying on tremor sense and blindsight like the other things you've come across so far. And Zelty, let's see what's happening with you. All right, I'm going to come out into the hallway, see what's going on, because I can't really tell. Uh, if I can move my character, if I can click on the right button, that would be fantastic. Here we go. All right. And I'm going to look over and I'm going to say, I'm tired of this. And purely thematically, uh, has anybody watched One Piece? 
Are you gonna fucking stretch your arms out and punch them? No. No. Uh, the, uh... I can't remember his name now. He's one of the seven warlords. Well, was. Anyway, he's a cyborg. So, how... He does his, like, one of his main attacks. He's got a cannon that comes out of his mouth. Oh. And, uh... Fireball. Well. Let's have some fun with that, then, shall we? Dropping on that third one to make sure nobody else is hit by it, but just the three. <laughs> Appreciate it. If I did my math right, it all three should be in range and nobody else. <laughs> oh <Holy laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Is that in fact the correct eight by eight? It's only seven by seven. So I don't know, how's that look to you? That was a 20 foot cube. Nice. I thought it was 20 foot radius. Yeah, fireball is oh, definitely a radius. Yeah, it is a sphere. I'm sorry. Yes. I wrote it wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah I love it. That was great. <laughs> well, the good news is you also have caught the two around the corner that nobody can even see. So all five of them are in position this fireball to affect them assuming damage resistances nope damage immunities no one two three a four and a five all right seriously who cursed my dice my bad <laughs> what the fuck is going on here i think this is the real quaid it's not Okay, so fireball. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Looks like first guy here made their save. 24 damage. We're looking at 12 instead. Failed their save. 24 damage it is. Math skills fading. Failed save. Far back, made their save. Okay, so that's how that goes. Well done. <laughs> Literally. And please tell me that's the end of your turn. <laughs> I know why that's uh, announced. Oh, wait. I have a bonus action. Hit him again. Wait, no, that's an action. I'm sorry. Never mind. I thought that was a bonus. All right. Hit him again. You got lucky. <laughs> well okay. then. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else. Literally, everything else is action. I don't want to get any closer. All right. Let's zoom it back in here for the uh, turn for Irisavis. Sorry, technical issues. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to cast a uh, chromatic orb. Right there, and we're going to do acid damage. Gave me a lightning chromatic orb, but uh, we get the the gist of it. Let's 
see. Range spell attack. May the force be with you. You cover us in shame and I take the blame. Living by the moves team with high school blues. Walk ahead. If you like, just roll a straight d20 and we can figure out the, the modifiers afterwards. If there's no attack block already built for this spell. Sometimes they don't, the character mancer doesn't add it in. Oh, kapow! 19 to hit. Didn't even need the advantage. Higher level spell cast. Got it. Lead one is taking a beating here. And then, so, um, I have second wind. Um, would I be able to use that to throw a trident at the first guy? Or do you think that's too far of a throw? Is it second wind or is it extra attack? Right, so oh, no, was... wait, Ron, sorry, Action Surge, Action Surge. Oh, okay, so yeah, Action Surge, you would get an additional action. Do you also have extra attack? I do. So yeah, if you trigger that Action Surge, you're going to get two attacks right now. But if you only have one Trident, you only get to take one. So I would measure that accordingly. I would definitely say it's in range to toss a Trident at it, just... Hopefully you're She's within 30 feet of the closest one. Yeah. Hopefully in position to be able to make use of that second attack as well. If you have a bow on you as well. Okay. Um... As if you do, you get a free weapon uh, equip each round as part of your move. That's everybody, really. You can do one free equip or, uh, yeah, just one free drawing of a weapon as part of your movie round. Okay, I will do um, action, action surge then and uh, I, shoot him with the longbow. I prefer the axing surge. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Yes. Natural 20! Oh no. Oh! How do you feel about this violence against robots, Robald? <laughs> I don't even know what I am! <laughs> I don't even know why I have these goggles. Have you always been able to blast fire out of your mouth? It just kind of happened? I'm still a little freaked out by it. Me too. And Christy, you can up arrow and enter from the chat log and do your second attack just like that. Also with advantage, so 23 to hit. Another six. These things are beefy, but they are, especially this one in the lead, it is definitely starting to lose parts of its uh, armor whether uh, plates are falling off or whether it's just becoming rapidly pierced by all these holes that are being drilled into it. And if nothing else, we will pass it over to Mike's turn. Yep, call him. Alrighty. Just a question, if I drop back behind the worm, is it going to block any shots? Like, how big is its corpse laying on the ground? It's pretty big. It is difficult terrain to cross over. Such is its uh, mass. So All you right. kind of feel confident that if you were to hunker down behind that, you'd have a, a nice bunker there. Hunker the bunker. 
Can I get to the middle of it there then with uh, 30 feet of movement since it's only 20 feet? Yeah. But it's hard to leave the ground. Not fully but covered by it, but you would have a decent bonus to AC. Just a bustle in the crowd. All right, and then I'll uh, make a longbow attack at the uh, closest one there. All right, and the one wearing the red shirt takes another shot. Ow! Why me? <laughs> it's a red shirt. <laughs> I love when they and, reference uh, it. Oh, go ahead. Is it still up? Yeah, still got a good amount of hit points here. Not this thing again. I'm gonna use my swarm to do another d6 of damage. Sure. Alright, yeah, so another five with the uh, spores, and uh, I guess that's it. Uh, strength save as well, right? Um, no, oh. I think I can only do one of those effects at a time. Oh, yeah, okay, right, 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 right. Either right. or thing. Well, thanks for making me waste my natural 20. That's my own haste, though. Anytime. Oh! Um, Nisha, what's happening with you, my friend? Well, is sneak attack still an option? Uh, they... You have advantage on all of them, so I believe that automatically qualifies for sneak attack. Alright, I'm going for this guy, since he's still got some HP going here. So I'm going to um, take the initial shot and add the sneak attack to it. Alrighty. Advantage. Now... At level two, is that one D6 or two? I'm going to make sure. It's at level one. five, I mean. One? Okay. Just want to make sure. At Thanks. level five, it should be two. Okay. Then, yeah, two. At uh, level three, Rogue, it would be two D6. Yeah. I um, just want to make sure because my memory sometimes falls out of my ears. <laughs> so wait, are you multi-classed? Sorry. Um... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, okay. That uh, is another nasty chunk of damage on this one right up there. Wait, what and What level is your rogue? Five. Oh, then that's 3d6 sneak attack. Oh, uh, should I redo that? Just or roll an extra uh, die six. You should be good. Okay. Oh, because, well, is your rogue level five or are you multi-classed? Level five with multi class, but still he's he's he, the rogue is five. The rogue is five. Oh, does the extra? Holy crap! What level are you? Yeah, <laughs> level five, five with a beam rifle, which I'm typing that post in now, <laughs> and right. then I'm gonna have him duck out of the line of fire. All right. Well, no, if you're multi class and your rogue is five, please, we're we're just having a a miscommunication here. He's just level five rogue with subclass, and I think that's oh, okay, yeah. so oh. as inquisitive. Oh, okay, okay sorry. Class, I say. Some people are higher level because they do play multiple sessions with the same character per week, but I think right now that's pretty much just Westy. I think there was one week he played all three sessions with the same character, yeah. so he was just all over the place. All right, it is my turn with these rapidly fallen apart robots. We've got Katarina with not such a good. Wow, somebody liked my song. Cool. Uh, Katarina with not the best stealth check. Here is Savis uh, standing there in the passage and. Who is this? Is that Crumb? That crumb? That's Crumb, yeah. Okay. Oh. I see Widowmaker. Give me Widow back Maker. my torch. Wait. No. That's the sentient one. 
<laughs> All right, let's first and foremost, we'll get this weakened, busted up one. How high up is Irisavis flying? Looks like 10 feet? Based on the wings? Yep, I'm like right in the middle. All right. Okay, we are winding up. You can hear the gears just kind of click, 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 click. And all of a sudden... Youch! Pop, pop, pop. This thing stabs out three times with its glaive. And... Holy moly, if I'm not mistaken, they all hit. Thankfully, the second one is not a crit. Looks like 26, 34 points of damage total. And then, to follow that up... Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so in this case, uh, Christy, we are going to roll opposed athletics checks as this thing is going to attempt to push you out of its uh, range here. <laughs> athletics for myself, I am at disadvantage. I got an eight, <laughs> a mighty eight. And 21 as she just stands there is like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that concludes the first gear forged turn. The second one steps up 25, 30, and we see Amphith in there. So we're going to toss a second javelin basically under Irisavis, and she's kind of floating in the middle of the hallway here. me are none too happy about the stream going on, but hey, y'all make plenty of fucking noise too, so. 16 damage, alright. Um, Sean, I hit you with a 16 to hit and 8 piercing. Yeah, they can fucking deal. <laughs> this is the sound of me giving a fuck. <laughs> what, who's getting angry at you? <laughs> Uh, my neighbor's right on the other side of this wall. Just a lot of big, oh. big, 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 Like, yeah. Sorry that I'm speaking up for a couple hours a night here. The rest of the week, this fucking room is empty. And that's two of these. Third one. We're just going to continue to spread the love. Oh, dear God. We have enough movement to get right up. Yeah, exactly. 7 p.m. Yeah, the best part is these people are younger than I am. Not as hard. <laughs> Not really. I know y'all got kids, but that's part of what all the noise is that I always hear, so... Tell them to watch the stream. <laughs> yeah, tell them to sub and follow. Yes! <laughs> are you with us? So <laughs> 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 thud, thud. thud. <laughs> Uh, no, the Void Dragon is not... I don't know how I opened up that thing. <laughs> Why? Oh, man, I'm just all over the place. Okay. Gear forged. A trifecta of glaive attacks coming at Katarina. Bam, bam, bam. Oh! Well, that might change things. Let's... That is correct. Okay, so Katarina is standing there watching a potential repeat of the Void Dragon incident as this thing comes up and fumbles its glaive, attempts to grab it, and the glaive falls onto the floor right here. And 
I think I may I actually have a glaive that I can kind of put down there. No, no. All right. I know I have a spear. That will suffice. There we go. And because it's a little hard to see, Do you I'm think going to change be? its color. Something contrasting. We'll go with bright yellow. Should make it a little easier to see right there. And also as a result of that failing the dexterity check, it lost its second attack. So technically its third attack was the natural one. The second natural one that I rolled. So. Katarina just takes no effect at all. Score, because that was going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, that could have been bad. I mean, 15, 26, 39 points of damage. Yeah, she'd have been down. <laughs> Gear Forge steps up. We've got a few different targets here. We're going to toss a javelin at... Not a 13, a D3. What do we do? All right, Crumb. The shortest straw has been drawn for you. Don't make fun of my straw. Shortest straw. A 14 to hit. Will miss. Damn it. Damn it. Nah, it'll hit me, but I just don't notice it. <laughs> oh. He's on my hippo. Just <laughs> impact it off the surface. Okay. And try the same thing again, except this time it's really just a choice between Gale and Christy. Gale will be the target. And a javelin thrown at Katarina, AC 16, not close enough. So yeah, we are just all kinds of missing here. And we'll pass it over to Crum. Alright, we'll pull my shield and flail out again. We don't talk about nope. it. Bring me my torch here. And I will bash the one that is next to Katarina. Alright. Wait, I, can I move through them? You can move can diagonally move northwest and get that flank. Nice. Nice. As a bonus action, I'll manifest. Sorry, I have to move it like through the walls, <laughs> but I can't see where it is. Um, who's drawing who's a death star? Oh, that's not. Probably the robot again. I'm sorry, I'm trying to measure and it it showed up. And now I don't know how to get rid of it, I'm sorry. Well, I mean you put a Death Star down, then the Death Star is gonna be there, so Alright, so that's an attack <laughs> at the uh thingy there. Alright, finally this thing's AC comes in handy. <laughs> Clink. And, and Oh no. We're gonna have this ability trigger for the first time. Make an opportunity attack when a creature enters its reach. Unheard oh, no. of. Ouch! A stab. Actually, this one doesn't have its glaive. So it hits, <laughs> but we're only looking at a die four plus five. Not percentage, so six points of damage. The same thing, except it's bludgeoning. And if you have a second attack or something, still your turn. Don't! I'm cursed, man. Yeah, you guys were only supposed to curse my dice, not uh, not patience. Alright, so, uh, one sec, please. Alright, so I'm going to manif 
or not manifest echo, but uh, unleash carnation and get another attack on that fellow there. All right. Oh, of course I hit that one. Nice. Hey, where did my Death Star go? I figured out my button. Oh, sorry, it already rolled damage automatically, right? So the seven thunder damage. Oh, it doesn't deal your strength bonus? Oh, I see. I'm not quite sure what I rolled there for damage. It was 1d8 plus four, so I guess I just rolled that seven. Looks like it, yeah. Wouldn't it be the 11? Accidentally. Yeah, the second one was... Uh, I, so I rolled, and I'm used to fucking doing it with D&D &D Beyond, so like... Oh, and I don't know what that was. Hitting me! No! <laughs> and then screw it, I'll ac action surge. Oh, oh. And try and hit the one by Katerina again. Advantage, 21 for 12. Pound another dent into this thing. Sure thing, yeah, be right back, man. We're coming up on the break here at the end of this round in a few moments anyway, so we'll be on like a 5 or a 10. What is 16 have hit that first one? When I rolled a 14 and a 10? The 16 would not have hit. The AC is an 18. Okay. 18. okay, then, never mind. Yeah, I forgot to put on my fighting style. All right, uh, so I'm going to swing uh, one more time. Okay. Nice. 26. Additional 7 points of damage. Ooh. These things These really can take really a pound. We can. <laughs> and then screw it on the incarnation again. <laughs> Stop! That's affecting uh, this one back here again? Yeah, the that one, yep. Okay. And that's 26 to hit, and... Oh. And 14 damage. Yeesh. Alrighty. And then can you add two more to that for Astral Spark? I don't wanna! <laughs> yeah, and then that'll be it. I don't want to. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm done. We shall pass the torch over to Widowmaker down here. Yay, finally. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to move to right there, and then I'm going to cast Firebolt on this guy. Oh no! <laughs> no, not Fireball, Firebolt. <laughs> the robot is trying to kill us. I mean, I do have another one that I could drop. Firebolt, range spell attack, okay. Yeah, so I roll d20, then I add 6. So it'll be a 20 to hit. Nice! And then, uh, because I'm 5th level, right, it's 2d10? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, oh! so be, uh, nine. That is exactly how many hit points it had. Nine fire will send this thing scorching and popping and little tiny explosions that cause a little bit of singe and ouch, ouch on Katarina and Crumb standing there right next to it, or Katarina since she doesn't have hippo carapace. But, uh, it doesn't do any damage. It's just a flavor. It's cooking. <laughs> um, that is the end of my turn. Fantastic. Come back here to the inept angler worm. Where the heck is Veridar's initiative? That is a good question. Yeah, I don't recall you taking a turn. And look at you, you would be on the very top of the round. So let's have you take a turn. And then I'll take a turn with this thing. And then you take another turn. 
And then when we come back, it's going to be your turn. Oh, yeah. I shorted you two rounds there. So sorry about that. Getting right up on this thing. Pop, 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 pop. It came up out of the ground, too, by the way. It's not on the ceiling or anything like two of the other ones previously were. Both of those hits, AC 14. <laughs> Don't be scared when the way paralyzes you. Forgot one, he killed it. No. Con save. All right, here we go. Don't be scared when the way paralyzes Got it. I think that did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that. That's all right. So My turn now. I shall take the turn with the worm. Fight. Coils. Wait, we have a new worm. It's been over on the southwest side by Veridar. Yeah. Oh. It looks like a double pair of misses there. So Ben, your turn again. Okay, um... Another stunner, Stone Cold style. No, let's just go ahead and flurry this time. All right. Two more strikes. Ah, darn it. There you go. Respectable, considering you're holding your own against this thing, and it hasn't been able to touch you yet, but. AC-18 is uh, pretty awesome in 5e. And that was my and, uh, That's it. All right. Well, I will send it to our BRB screen here for a few moments. Go fill up this coffee, water cup, smoke a quick cigarette, and be right back, friends. Are you with us? No, I'm not. No, I'm right here. Where are you then? Um, here. But so are we. Where is here? Is it there? Everything is a bucket. Everything is a bucket. Everything is a drum. Alright, so I'm not the only one who knows that reference. I think you might be. Ah. Auntie Donna's House of Fun. It's on Netflix. It's the greatest show ever. Alright, so who the hell is Ampeth Odazir? That would be Sean. That's me. Yeah, but who are you? Uh, I'm a uh, dragonborn who's a fisherman, and uh, he uh, uh, he lost his boat and some of his friends to uh, a sea monster, and he's become an adventurer to learn how to hunt it. He's going to go back and kill it. All right. Did that sea monster have a name? Fred? Uh, what was that? Did the sea monster have a name like Fred? I haven't figured that out yet. Is yeah, the sea what? monster available? Mm. Yeah, is it single? <laughs> <laughs> 
What about uh, who is Nija? Oh, I'll type it up. It's, uh, it's yeah. awkwardly lengthy, so I'll take that in a second here. Yeah, I, so I try to keep like track of who everyone is. Um, if you look in the Discord, I like they're they're not super detailed, but uh, you know, just kind of an idea of who everyone is. What they are is much appreciated. Yeah, hey. Thank you. It's just as much for me as it is for everyone else. So <laughs> you're welcome. Not only that, but it looks great. Wow, it looks like need you beat me to it. A <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the wrong one. Oh, is that the rabbit person? Okay, yeah, you were talking about the rabbit token before. Too bad I don't have any carrots. Oh, so you're just going across the universe looking for carrots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a goal. Ah. That's just your entire reason for being. Just <laughs> I mean, I can have the same thing, like, you know, I'm just kind of a hippo who's hungry. <laughs> also, ha! I know that reference. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I never thought of it, but now uh, it's so tropey. All right, guys, are you oh. familiar with the Kinder from Dragonlance? Uh, not from Dragonlance. Okay, so Kinder from Dragonlance are, are natural kleptos, but they don't steal for profit or money or, or anything like that. They just find stuff. And this is what Gale's character is supposed to be like. Uh, but we want to make sure that we don't piss anybody off. So if anybody wants to play along with it, you know, every so often she'll unconsciously steal something from you. If you want, you could give them, give her something junky from your inventory to say that she just picked your pocket and you didn't realize it. And oh, that will fun. help the character. Sorry. So who is Gail? Is that Katarina? That's Katarina. Yep. Oh. I like that idea. <laughs> Kleptos. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I've read all the Dragonlance books, and it's really cool because uh, one time it was like Hasselhoff Burfoot, which is the name of the uh, Kender. He wanders around, and it's like, you know, hey, I wish we had um, something like this to help us out. And he reached into his pouch, and he goes, you mean something like this? He's like, where'd you get that? He goes, I don't know. I just found it somewhere. And he stole it from a shop in town. <laughs> Alright, and then who is Widowmaker? Uh, it's me. Well, who is Widowmaker? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, what, you want to know what my class is? Oh, you're a character. Oh, my character? Uh, I mean, he's just a normal human that, you know, was taught in maid school and became a dropout because he found, fell he fell in love with fire, and the uh, high mages didn't really like that too much. You mean the 420 mages? Did he burn the school down? No, but he did try and uh, set one of his instructors on fire. Well, I mean, no. a wild they, card. <laughs> if they are the high mages, does that mean they're basically just weed wrapped up in those robes? I mean, you're just smoking a giant joint that talks. Yeah, they weren't very appreciative of me. So you set out to find things to burn? Well, I just set out on an adventure to you know, learn more than what the school can teach me. Like how to set things on fire more efficiently. Yes. 
Yeah, and he does kind of have a big ego too, because he thinks he's better. All right, sorry. And what class are you in, Fifth? I am a uh, ranger. And no no more class, just rank as ranger. With the uh, hunter subclass. Oh, okay. Is a rogue? Yeah. For some reason, I find it easier to describe him in text, which is why I did the typey. Like, oh, oh, yeah. I, I totally it. understand. <laughs> I even posted some art of him in the um, shared art room there, because, you know, why not? <laughs> time no see it's uh your turn here as we pick up the next round of action here about 45 to an hour before we close it out let's kick some butt Acceptable and not so good on the uh, first attack there. Yep, I know. <laughs> Pretty sure thematically it's not but it's can right now. And what you think, Ben? EOT there for you? Yeah, I think that's it. I'm running low on key points. I like the sound of that. Hey, Sean. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe for once it'll be you suggesting a rest instead of Don. What's that? What's up? Uh, Sean, your turn, my friend. Okay, I'm going to throw a net on this guy here my net okay and uh the range uh the uh short range on it is usually five but since i have advantage on it i just gonna be a normal attack okay since i'm 10 feet away yeah oh before i do that uh Yeah. <coughs> oh. Did not mean to hit that, sorry. <laughs> trying to take your turn, it's not even your turn, man. <laughs> Oops. Sheesh. Sorry about that. <laughs> turn goblins. <Here> <laughs> Crouch down underneath uh, Irisavis here as she's still floating in the hallway. Take your attack with advantage because you do get the short range and it is fairy fired. Does it deal damage or am I trying to roll a check to get out? How does the, the net work? Uh, hold on. I'll look it up as well. Oh, I got it right here. I'm going to paste it. So. Strain until freed. Yep, 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 yep. DC 10 strength check. Okay. So. 
and I'm going to use my uh, extra attack. I'm going to use my extra attack to throw a spear at it. All right. Also with advantage. Why do we bother killing things we can't eat? <laughs> Nobody's saying you can't eat the worm crumb. This smells bad, though. That is a hit on this one. I'll eat the worm. Slightly lower AC. Do you have salt? I don't. What's up there, Leela? Oh, I was just going to say, even I want to eat that worm, so. And I'm a bird, so I would take my word for that. <laughs> it's not a gummy worm, is it? This is a word from the bird. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Look what you started. Don't you know about the word? Well, everybody knows the bird is a word. I thrive in chaos. <laughs> Unleash the beast. So, Amphith, the uh, spear attack again, yes, it is a hit. This one has a 17 instead of 18 AC. And anything else there with your turn? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I, I did a Hunter's Mark on it, so that's an extra three. Extra Cool. Crap, our viewer count went down after I did the bird. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want you anyway. <laughs> the price we pay for art. So, I have a quick question, but I'm going to type it because it's relevant on my turn and not before. Gotcha. And Katarina, over to your turn. I got your push to talk on there, brother. I believe, regardless, you can only do one sneak attack per round. That is right. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. If I'm reading that right, it just means you can... The the uh, you have a wider variety of the, of targets you can use sneak attack on. It well, so what that means is if you would if you would normally not have sneak attack, you could do that to gain sneak attack on something. Ah, yeah. okay. Well, I think that one's dead. At that, so nineteen. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> oh, is that another crit from Katarina? Yep. Ow. 24, 31 points of damage. Oh! Wow. He has proven himself worthy. Don't wreck my nut. Thankfully, it was a rapier just stabbed right through one of the uh, the gaps. <laughs> and anything else there for you, Gale? The uh, bonus action for hiding, maybe? Gage. Disengage. Uh, not necessary. There's no. I don't. Yeah, I was about to. <laughs> yeah, you killed the guy that you were probably oh, planning then, to disengage then, from. <laughs> okay, then yes, hide. All right. Roll that stealth and may the force be with you. 
She's disengaging from her friend. <laughs> no, she's disengaging from the murder she just did. <laughs> wow. Mother Nabisco! <laughs> hey, Zelty, what's happening with you? Let's take it to your turn. Let's see. Get my sheet out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Wow, there's a bunch of dead tokens. Check that out. Where's my measuring stick? That is indeed my measuring stick. Let's see, is that one still alive? It is just barely. Right here. One that's got a green dot on it. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that one's still just up. Sounds good. So this space right here is to the space over down is dead. Yes. Correct. Yeah, there's a net lane there okay. on top of its corpse, but the space itself is technically empty. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to move. I'm going to come up right here. And as I move, I'm going to run up and I'm going to punch this thing in the face. And... Oh! Yeah! Ouch! A new top damage for the night. Yeah. Four. Yikes. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. This is my second time using this in Quick Wounds mm. for just epic damage. Wow. <laughs> it's not the uh, greatest movie by any means, but the greatest scene from uh, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Punch the dude's head off. Bow! <laughs> and there goes this uh, robot's head just uh, skittering down the hallway to the north. <laughs> yeah! And that's my turn. I can't do anything else. Alright, let's see what your Savus has to follow that up. Okay, so can I hurt that echo, or is it like a uh, transparent, invisible type thing? I mean, you might be able to. It depends on what you're doing, but I will, you don't have to worry about it at all. So what I'd like to do is use Burning Hands. Um, it's a 15-foot cone to try to get... Well, it says each creature. So is the Echo considered a creature? An object. Oh, nice. it's an object? Nice. Okay, cool. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You know, Dan, I like the way she thinks. I mean, can I hurt that thing, even though it's a friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid that. I can't find it. Whatever. I just want to say I love your Kirby icon. I just now saw that. Thank ya. Dex saves coming up. Is the DC really that low? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Oh wait, aren't you a, a fighter? Oh, yeah, so probably. I'm guessing an Eldritch Knight. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that's correct then. Okay, so both make saves. They each take half. Got that. And got that. there for you 
Yeah, hold on one second. I'm just seeing if this is a bonus action or not. Okay, so I'll save that for a second. Um, I'm going to use my extra attack and um, hit this guy. Alright. The extra attack technically only applies when you're using the attack action. If you're casting a spell, that's a different action entirely. Oh, okay. Well then, for uh, my bonus action, I'll do second wind. Um, Die ten plus five. Not bad. Okay, and then we'll just finish up some movement. Middle of the big worm. Oh, yep, right there. Lost track of you. And your turn. I forget, what's the penalty to shoot past allies? Is it plus two? Um, I would have a plus two to my AC, depending on the angle here, but yeah. Is that like for an ally or just flat? Just flat. If there's a lot of cover, then it goes to a plus five. Alright, because I'm aiming for the guy just to the right of the uh, echo. Cool. Oh, jeez. Oof. Oh, yep, looks like uh, Christy accidentally hit backspace while her character was selected. <laughs> yeah, I was good, just about to ask where uh, your savings went. There it is. You should be good now. much harder to deploy the token back if the screen is all black <laughs> you're like oh where do i go <laughs> all right then i'm gonna move back and uh take a second wind as well very cool And that'll be it. All right. Misha, that's back to you. All right, well, first off, I'm going to make the movement here. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. It took your vision away entirely. Now you should be good. Now, I'm going to take a shot here. At that one. Try to get rid of it. Cool. Oh. And that's always nice when a plan goes as you hoped. Nice. Another one just burns through the center with the acid bullet, pops sparks, and and the final Templar or the final uh, gear forged, I should say let's take a glaive attack on the echo a 10 AC, probably not good. That will miss, yeah. How about a natural 20? <laughs> <laughs> that will hit. Oh, uh, you don't even have to roll, it's done. Right. <laughs> oh, you already got it, yeah. Well, it'll just uh, scooch forward and take its third attack on the real crumb. Oh, no. And, and it will miss. Miss wildly. That's my turn. Over to you, Crumb. 
How dare you! <laughs> they got way too excited to miss the second swing. They right, try and hit it with a 17, no? Oh, too close. Oh no, this one does have a 17. Ooh. Two of them do. Yep. Alright. That'll be nine damage. Got it. And then, is that a net 20? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. That's a 14, I think. That's what I'm seeing. Well, okay. Got that one as well. And then bonus action, uh, re <laughs> <laughs> And then that's it. I'm done. Didn't I just finish that thing? All right, Widowmaker, it's back to you. All right, I'm going to move up here. And I'm going to go ahead and firebolt this guy. I like it. Yep. So there. Oh, that is a. I want to say. Uh, fifteen. Oh, close. Just impacts on the surface. No damage though. All right. So that was one, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna move back two squares. And that's the end of my turn. Right. Well, let's see what this worm has, if anything, as we continue the one-on-one -on -one combat here with Ben. You know where Veridar went, Robald? You should run, worm. I'm not sure where he went, to be honest. For a oh, little okay, bit, never mind. Now. Thank you for talking trash. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. Ouch. Ooh, ouchie. So, just to clarify, is Veridar, Veridar down and to the left? He Correct. is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can all hear this worm thrashing around out there. I don't know how much sound Veridar is making, but it's something is going on over there. All we hear is just slurping. <laughs> I've been working my way back, but uh, yeah, difficult terrain. Ben is grappled, cannot breathe, and will take damage at the start of this thing's next turn. Uh, ben, it's your turn right now. If you want to try to escape the grapple, that will be in action. I don't breathe. Well, uh, I'm jealous. So, oh, dude, I don't... Do I not take damage? Since it's... it's <laughs> Based on breath? Asthma. You would take the acid damage, but the fact that it's throttling your throat would be pretty irrelevant. Okay. But that's at the start of its turn. So it would take an action for me to try and break free. Yeah, I guess I'll try and break free. What is that? Acrobatics or athletics? Uh, it is. Oh shoot! You know what? I never had you roll your dexterity save to begin with. Roll that first. Okay. So now it will be an athletics or acrobatics. Uh, your choice. DC twelve. Oh yeah. Which square are you escaping into? All right. Oh, cool. So that leaves me free from having to disengage, right? I'm no longer next to it. Unless it has awesome. reach. Awesome. Oh, crap. Does it have reach? <laughs> uh, it looks at you curiously and wonders why you're asking it. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I'm with that. If I need to disengage, I have to disengage. If not, I'm gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's safe to assume it does have reach. It's pretty big. I will use a key point to disengage. All right. A bonus disengage. 
save yourself that natural one that I rolled. <laughs> well, I don't need to cheese it anymore. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, um, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's, let's go over here where everybody else is. <laughs> hey, where have you been? I know I was uh keeping something off our backs which is uh, about to come around the corner. And that's my turn. Alright, Sean, over to you. So I made it out yet. Well, I've got one spear left. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna shift the uh, hunter's mark over to that last one, over to this uh, um, bastard. You can say, it. yeah. He's gonna move up one and then throw. Okay. Damn. Too bad. No advantage. <clears throat> Basha. Just a missed attack there, my friend. Okay. Okay. All right. That's uh, Katarina. Back to you. Uh, I'm moving. Okay. I think I'm going to discreetly just try to edge my way along the wall here while she's doing that, because my life is flashing before my eyes. <laughs> uh, do we get... Oh, wait, no, you're actually not moving. <laughs> Must say <laughs> opportunity attacks for, like, yeah. two of us. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would be probably already did once she gets up here. <laughs> oh no, the torch is coming in. <laughs> the torch is gonna burn him! So, I'm trying to move up to the one that's still alive to hit it with my rapier and then move back to disengage, but... I'm having trouble with the stupid torch. Gotcha. Well, we know you're probably moving here, so go ahead and just take your attack, and then we can have you disengage back to where you are now. Oh my there gosh! Go. Yeah. She doesn't have to. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! Bam! That is the end <laughs> of the Gear Forged. See, I needed Katarina to help me with the worm. <laughs> oh my gosh. This right. is basically the theme for this character now because of all this shit. Okay, so I moved back a little bit to where I am now because of the stupid torch. Very cool. Uh, I need to check something here real quick. Yes, that is correct. All right, Warriors of the Eternal Sun Time, if you know what that means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's XP updates to 14,000. Yeah. That what? is the threshold Woo. level six. This is a mid-combat level up, so everybody can go ahead and facilitate that right now. 14,000? 14,000. Yeah, baby. Yeah, hey, Dan, I need the script to uh, steal Katarina's dice, please. Yeah, right. I'm already typing that in myself. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, each of these gear forged were CR6, which is pretty heinous. This was a, a very solid triumph for your characters here. And while we are well, I doing... I mean, there that, are like eight of us, so that helps. Oh, for sure. I mean, you're talking usual CRs are kind of balanced for like a party of four to five, sometimes six. So when I have a party of eight or nine, that's why you have five of them instead of just one or two, which kind of mitigates everything, keeps the action economy fair. But even still, my dice were crap, your dice were great, you guys had some solid tactics, and this was well earned. And Zelti, it's going to be your turn once you are ready to go. We can definitely kind of pause for three to five minutes. Oh, no. Especially if you're using the <laughs> character mancer for your level ups, it just auto guides you through the whole process. It makes it super easy. But in the meantime, I'm going to step away, that. grab my, uh, my greenage here. I'll be back in like 30 seconds and we'll see where we're at. <laughs> oh, sounds like somebody got a cool ability. <laughs> <laughs> got a few upgrades. Plus more <laughs> HP. Upgrades, people! Upgrade! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Zelti's playing a spellcaster, so those typically take a little longer to level up. If you want, I can have Crow take his turn right now, if you're ready. Actually, I just got two uh, second level spot, uh, spells as well, so... Oh, sweet. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Shit, I rolled max on my HP. Whoa. Love it. Okay, I'm good. All right, take it away. And of course, any new spells that you gain, you get to keep. Any uh, HP that your character was down, make sure to uh, reduce that again. You do not get the benefits of uh, instantaneous long rest. Any spells that you expended are still expended. And, of course, like I said, any new spells that you gain, you do get. And any new class abilities that you get are instantaneously activated. If you don't remember exactly how many hit points you were down, no worries. Just try to estimate it. I'm not too finicky about that stuff. So we killed the last one. So I'm going to come down. Actually, ruler... 30 feet. Where's uh, 30 feet? Well, you can still use right the there. sneak attack every round, right? But it does, if you got an extra die of damage, then absolutely. That's applicable right now. Okay. I am done with my turn. Because the worm isn't around the corner yet. Gotcha. Let's see what's happening with a Agraw. No worries, I get confused related pretty easily. Sorry, be almost done. Very cool. So we take off the health that we were missing, right? Correct. Okay. But then, of course, gain the 10 HP plus that you just got. Oh, yeah. Shh, no, we keep that. Yeah, I'm all set. Very cool. I guess I can drop the gear forge from the initiative.
We should bury these guys. <laughs> Since we can't eat them. Alright, so do we think we should take care of that other worm, or...? What worm? There's something thrashing around the corner. We, we gotta kill whatever that is, too. Can you point to it? I can't hear anything. Oh no, are you there done? We go. There we go. Kind of around that corner down there to the southwest is where all of this thrashing is coming from. Well, I'm far away, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, worms are... Well, you eat worms. be scared of you. It will be. So does Gail get a bonus for kicking the shit out of two of those? Uh, bragging rights, absolutely. <laughs> how about, how about I a did gold something star something. Went black. A gold star. <laughs> She's got a gold star on her... Uh, her bag of holding. Um, also, I've been dropped from the initiative, it looks like. Really? Oh, because you're, uh, when you backspaced your character out, it dropped it out. Yeah, I effed it all up. Thank Everything you. went dark. I think I moved myself somewhere dumb. And I'm pretty sure your Savus was one of the three people that had a 14, the first of the three. Yeah, it was like a 14. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so Gro is. Looks like Gro accidentally deleted his token as well. Um, let's get that. Don't even know how. You might have had your token selected and hit the backspace button accidentally. Sometimes I have a token selected and then I go to the chat log and start typing, but I didn't properly select the chat log and then I backspace because I overtyped and there goes my token. Happens to everybody. But you right. are back on the board. I can see it from here, right? Yeah, you can see enough of it right here. It's got a cover bonus, but you can see it. And I was born. Does it look tasty? Very. Let's take your spices. Yes. Well, that's just not good. Boil and mash and stick them in a stew. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, pretty sad longbow attack there. You got an extra attack? I do now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's better. Solid arrow in this giant pin cushion. Alright, I'm going to mark it as my uh, favorite foe. Favorite foe, I'm going to put a blue icon on it and a blue icon on you. Link them together. Of course, you can't see the blue on Is it, that, but I do. That doesn't take a action or anything, does it? Doesn't look like it does. Alright, so I'm gonna hit it with that and the uh, spores. Okay. Turn. Okay, I'm just gonna do uh, two movements, like two full movements. Sounds good.
and then that's it. Alright, Asia, what's happening? I am... Iron. <laughs> okay, first... <laughs> okay, so first I'm going... Okay, I gotta uh, calculate the distances real quick, because I'm gonna be using a uh, proficiency... I'm gonna use proficiency bonus or something um, with... At the end of this movement is the bonus action, so I gotta run these calculations real quick. Okay. I'll be waiting on the other side of the math. Gonna move over here, and I'm using this as the bonus action to extend that distance. Very cool. And from the ability set for that. So it's an extra 15 feet, I think? Yep. Yep. Sweet. I don't see anything over here, so I'm guessing that means that's basically it for turn here. Okie doke. And back up to the hungry hungry. Yum. Alright, so I will move south as much as I could. And then I will dash up here. Just and then see it, around, be it. it around the corner. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I'll... Wait, it has cover? How much cover does it have? Uh, from there, I would say probably plus two. Right, I'll try and thrashing, thrashing, thrashing around the floor in front of you. I'll try and shotgun it. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, I can't. Uh, never mind. Uh, I'm done then. All wait, right, now as a right. bonus action, actually, I'll manifest my echo right below it, and then that'll be it. Gotcha. So, Widowmaker, that's back to you. All right, what we got going on here? Oh. That person came out of nowhere. We got a person behind us. Is this a bad guy right here? No, that's the mushroom guy. That's me. Oh, okay. So we have... No, no... You're a bad guy. Everybody's no running in guys? that direction towards uh, the sound of something big. So everybody's coming down here. Correct. I'll go here and I will cast Mage Arma. Cool. Because I don't have really an AC. action there for you or closing it up there that is it all right bro let's see what this uh worm is gonna do i am kind of hoping to yeah, just eat some dirt crush right over the echo oh hi I don't know, 
I think this game really wants a Void Dragon to reappear, because I keep opening the Angler Worm and the Void Dragon character she opens up. Oh no. Don't you hate that. <laughs> so, for the Echo, let's have it roll a Dexterity Saving Throw, please. <laughs> okay, well, it definitely takes at least one point of damage as I just yeah, barrel through it. Sweet. <laughs> so it's gone. And we'll do a bite coil attack on Crumb. The bite, no good. The coils uh, might land. 21 to hit. Right. So the 21 will hit. Okay, 11 acid and a dexterity saving throw. Holy hell. <laughs> Woo. All right. So now does this um do, 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 sorry. Uh Okay. Well, does the 18 pass? If not, I get another plus 2 cuz my shield. Oh, 18 definitely passes. DC is 20 okay. as well. So um okay, yep. Yeah. So what happens? Well, you made your save, so you basically get to uh, move to a different square to escape the coil. Okay. And of course, you can see that there are coils in this square right here. So, oh, which one? Uh, this one here. Any of the squares adjacent to it. Okay. So, will that work? That works fine, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it for the worm's turn. And that's uh, that's it for us tonight, friends. I'm gonna move us back to the starting screen here. And move our stream to... Uh... Hey, that's me. I had a fantastic time tonight. This Wednesday game is uh, has been enjoyable for each of its sessions. Not that any of the others haven't, but this one is uh, extra special to me. I think we got a solid team here. We got a solid plot. And even with uh, people switching in and out, it still retained a lot of its joy. So I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I want Don want... back. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, this would be nice to see the Greek three goblins back, though. <laughs> he appreciates it. Glad I could drop in. Yes, indeed. Hope everybody's uh, feeling better soon. Who is not feeling well? Sean, Wild Bob, uh, Whip Around. Anybody else I might have forgotten, but uh, that concludes our week of open table gaming. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, another three in a row. Don't miss us tomorrow. We got Role Playing Unlimited out of character. Check the polls in the Discord channel polls. I'm uh, looking forward to all of your answers. And also on our uh, Facebook page, same exact questions are posted there. That's what we'll be covering tomorrow during the stream, 6 p.m. Pacific. Until then, have a great evening, friends. Thanks for being here. Are you with us? That was awesome. That was fun tonight. Hopefully you recover there. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Yeah. I like the scrub. Yeah, me too. Good night, everybody. See ya. <clears throat> See ya. Mm -hmm. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm gonna um, take a few and then I'm gonna start doing some art on that. So uh, if you want to just watch it, Sean. Okay, sure. I'll be back in a little bit here. All right.